Oh God, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Can we get started on my case? Oh, of course. There's just a small clerical thing we need to clear up. Here. <laughs> I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. <laughs> Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Hopefully my spikes don't damage your chair. Who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders. Super mutants, the gunners, and of course, there's the Institute. Who were the gunners? High end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. <clears throat> So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst <laughs> of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. Scotted prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Hmm. One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Well, who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Mm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but... No one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? 
And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. You don't want to fix your face? Hey. Grab my stuff, dog. <laughs> oh. Here you take Can you wear the hat? No. Oh. Mm, you can take that. And you can take this. Take the fuses. Take the hot plates. So many good things. I'm not supposed to talk to people I don't know. I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance. Bad news. He's more My than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Hmm. I wonder why they let him live in town. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Don't think I can pick this. No luck? Guess we need to find the key. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Okay. Oh. I want to check out the shops, too. I think they, they're only here in the morning. attention easier if you use softer words honey maybe shout a little less oh that reminds me of this article i'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde oh look who it is what brings you to the mayor's office huh what are you doing here piper nah -uh. not until it's in print you can read all about it in the next issue if you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. 
I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need <laughs> help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. I'll talk to the mayor then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Best of luck. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Ah, yes. I remember you. Our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes. Getting to see our glorious city for the <laughs> first time. How can I help you? A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but... However horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. So that's it? You're not gonna help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. I understand. You have rules. Maybe for the right amount. You can bend them a bit. What? How dare you? <laughs> I'm a mayor, for God's sake, not some thug for hire. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. Geneva. I'm sorry. But you're not getting that key for me. Why do you want it so badly anyway? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. I've heard the sob stories before, mm. so save them. Maybe we can reach an agreement? I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it <laughs> Bye! <laughs> the key all right let's head in you do the honors do you even have lungs let's take a look around Kellogg must have left something behind the place seems small to you figured a guy like Kellogg would think big Check out that desk. Oh, I'm telling you, something's well, that's one way to hide a room. Well, 
look at this. All of a Merc's favorite thing. Will you get off of all that stuff? Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. <laughs> well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whip? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? <laughs> All right, well, let's just go out here. far he is. Ah, uh, that explains uniforms. I heard somebody scream for help. San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy, let's track him. Where'd he take my boy? Close combat weapon on me, but it still worked. Oh, oh. 
wonder if I should go get my power armor. Oh, is there another vault here? Helps if you get out of the way. These are raiders. No, I can't. Lost the scent boy. Track this. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? This thing's awesome. There's a vault over that way. Oh, man. Things are hard to hit. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Oh, wait, that's another one. See somebody in the distance. Excuse me. Good day to you, stranger. You look like someone that appreciates the utility of a good set of armor. You just wander around selling armor to random people. <laughs> Traveling's a good way to meet new people, as well as finding the lost, the broken. 
and the unusual. When I get tired of traveling, I settle down again for a while. But I'm in a wandering phase at the moment. So, were you interested in trading or not? Sure. I'm always looking for good armor. My selection is a bit limited right now, but take a look. Ooh. Eh. Oh well, that's that's fine. Oh. Let us Stout, one of his creature comforts. Okay, boy, let's track him. Well done that. I want to take it off! Extreme caution. Attention, Another assailant. One of the stogies. Lower your weapons immediately. Whoa. Ah! Oh, 
is awesome. Not sure who he was fighting. Up this way. There's a medical center. Oh, and a military base. our man I see a bug even on the map. Oh wow. this the place? Is he in here, boy? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to get my power armor and then we're going to come back here and mess up their day. 